Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I cover a variety of different uh, data science and analytic topics. Um, everything from open source to uh, commercial platforms to general topics. Today we're talking about a commercial platform called Statistica and this will be a hands-on how-to session and we're talking about uh, one-way ANOVA. So simple analysis of variance and this will be brief and very direct. So I'm going to go into Statistica and I'm going to go to um, open examples and I'm going to get a data set and I'm going to type in V, go straight down to vertical and bring up this sports data set. And so what you can see is that I have data, simple data set where I have a number of categories, soccer, tennis, football, and basketball. And then uh, I believe this is for a global jump from different athletes. So what I want to do is I want to compare, is there any difference in the vertical jumps between these different athletes for these different sports? Um, and I'm going to use ANOVA to do that. In fact, we, we, we call this one-way ANOVA because we really only have one grouping variable. Note that I could do simple t-test if I only had two groups, right? If I had soccer, tennis, and I only wanted to compare those, that would be fine. But I've got uh, four different groups, and to, to run t-test, I'd actually have to run three different comparisons and um, to do that. And also would need to account for what's called the multiple inference problem. In other words, I would need to adjust my level of significance because anytime you run more tests, you're more likely to get a spurious conclusion to um, whatever hypothesis that you're going against. However, one way ANOVA can take care of that for us. So where do we find it? We find it under this, multi, this ANOVA platform. And we'll talk about some of these other types of ANOVA as well, um, including MANOVA, right, uh, which is a multivariate analysis of variance. We have more than one response. Here we're interested in just vertical, but you can actually do this where you have multiple responses as well as multiple um, independent variables as well. So we're going to select one-way ANOVA, and we're going to use the quick specs dialog. Just to let you know, you could use an analysis wizard, and it would walk you through. If you weren't sure whether you were talking about main effects or factorial, you can use the wizard to kind of guide you. Um, but we know what we're going to do. We want to measure this dependent variable of vertical jump, and we want to compare it by sport, we, the four different groups that we have here. So. In Statistica, I guess my dependent variable is vertical, my categorical is sports. And just so that you know, factor codes is something that I can go in. Maybe I only wanted to compare, I didn't want to compare the basketball. So if I select, you know, just the first three groups, it would just compare those three. By default, if I don't specify it, it's going to actually do all comparisons within that grouping variable. Um, also, under options, if I'm a little more advanced into one-way ANOVA and I want to um, alter the sum of the squares or the parameterization, I can do that, but by default, we're going to use sigma restricted and uh, type 6 uh, sum of squares. Um, so anyway, uh, that's a little more, uh, if, if you want to get into it and, and uh, you, you are very knowledgeable about ANOVA. Otherwise, the defaults in Statistica, as always, work really, really well. So now that I have <clears throat> my variables defined and everything, I can do things like, you know, I could do like a, a means comparison um, for these different results. Um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, I can do the um, all effects, actually, which I'll do in a, in a minute. Let me, before I do that, I should have said early on, you, you need to note that there are lots of options up here um, in the in the tabs. I can look at you know different means, create different plots. So there are literally dozens of options just within this ANOVA um, uh, 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 what, what word am I looking for um, <laughs> uh, menu. Uh, even residual, so I can do, you know, residual analysis. I can check all my assumptions uh, for ANOVA, uh, normality, um, et cetera, uh, variance, 
assumptions, et cetera, within uh, this platform. All right. And if I look at the summary, the other thing I can do is I can do this more results tab, right? So that's available in the summary where you can show more or less. And we'll look at that in just a minute, a little bit deeper. But for quick analysis, let's just look at the all effects. What this does is it tests the significance for the intercept and the sport. And both are significant here. If I look at the p-values, even at very low p-values, even at 0 0.01, I would reject. Let's assume for this analysis we're setting alpha or the level of significance at 0 0.05. I would reject and um, I would determine that, that sport is um, – that there are differences in with with the group as well as the overall um, piece of it and we'll look at um, those addi additional effects so now that i know that the um, there is differences in in vertical jumps by sport um, i might want to do <clears throat> what's called a an ad hoc test uh, post hoc uh, I should say a post hoc test. It is an ad hoc as well, but it post hoc because it's after we know that there's a uh, a main uh, a main effect, right? There is a difference. Now I want to know where the difference occurs within um, those different sports, right? Because it could be basketball, it could be you know any of those sports. So if I go to the summary and then more results here, then I can. Um, I want to do um, hang on just a sec I um, summary oh um, here it is it's actually a different tab so under post hoc uh, that's what I want to do I want to do an additional test and you can see here that I have lots of different options these are different uh, statistics, different ways to um, configure this, but for simple demonstration, what we'll do is we'll just do this Newman Kuhl's test here. And then what this allows us to do is it is compare if there are any significant differences between the groups um, of sport. And the way you read this is this is the first variable here. Um, in this column, second variable, this is tennis column, this is the football column, and this is basketball column. And you really only need to look at one diagonal of this. So um, what I can see here is that this first column, as I said, was soccer, and soccer is significantly different than tennis, football, or basketball. So um, it, it's different than all the other groups. And there really is no difference between tennis and football, tennis and basketball, and even uh, football and basketball. They're, all, they're not, not statistically significant at 0 0.05. So anyway, I'll keep this brief as I try to keep these things 